Kapla, and welcome to my Let's Play Star Trek Online on the PS4. I am the BB82, and this is part 33 of my KDF for Klingon Recruit Tactical Officer. We're about to undertake the Jedi and Solane Dyson Fear um, tutorial. Basically, we're just going to show us all our way around the Dyson Sphere. Um, we're going to skip a mission um, between, which is called. Um, a step between the stars um, hopefully it should let me skip it if it doesn't then the mission at the mission fluidic fluid destruction will be added to the end of the mission um, will be added to the end of step between the stars um, hopefully I should be able to skip it um, we're going to be turning all the tutorial missions, so that's circle within circle, supply wires to congested zone, the Omega standoff, tower control and fluidic destruction with hope. So let's do the battle log and then we'll get underway with the mission. Uh, battle log, the Roman Republic has established a base of operations within the Dyson Sphere we discovered. The High Council has assigned me to assist them with exploration of the Sphere. So that's how for the mission, circle within circles. The discovery and activation of the gateway to the Jurok system means that we can send ships rapidly to explore the Solonate Dyson Sphere. An alliance force comprised of ships from the, from the Roman Republic, the Federation and the Klingon Empire have agreed to work together to study the Sphere and establish a zone of control there. But they need skilled captains and crews willing to join the fight. Travel through the gateway and contact Alliance Joint Command once you reach the Solonate Dyson Sphere in the Delta Quadrant. Travel to the Solanaid Dyson Spit. Should beam straight into Dyson Joint Command. the Dyson Sphere. Speak with the Chief Logistics Officer. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant, General. A journey that once took 30 years at maximum walk now takes mere minutes. Did we just go as far as Voyager did? Not quite. We are on the border of the Delta Quadrant. Specifically, we are within the Sonane Dyson Sphere, a spherical structure built around a star. The sphere itself is a diameter nearly that of, ne that of nearly 200 million kilometers or the equivalent of 250 million M-class planet surfaces. How much of the sphere has been explored? When you're looking at it, the sphere is huge and it could take us a lifetime to completely understand its construction and technology. We're taking it slow until we know more. There, that's where you come in, sir. We could use your help, we could use the help of the Mechvar. Before we get started though, Subcommander Carl will want you to receive a briefing from about Omega Particles from our Chief Scientist. So this is the Solonate Dyson Sphere Command Center. Basically, this is from here. You you can change your ships. Um, it's a, another community zone, really. Acts like K like the KDF, like the Homeworld, Kronos, and if you're a Federation player, the ESD, or if you're a Romulan Republic player, New Romulus. If you are not New Romulus, or the or the Fatella for the for the duration that you can use the fatilla. So, let's speak with the chief scientist. That is over here. She is. Hello there. Oh, ha. Hello there. Hello, General. Carl has asked me to brief. Asked me to be brief as there is lots to be done. We found massive amounts of omega particles being produced within the Dyson sphere. These particles are extremely unstable and when detonated they will damage subspace making it warp travel impossible with vast areas around the detonation site. In the past we've only had to deal with a small amount of omega particles. Now we are now and we have a structure that is mass producing them for an unknown purpose. Where's the plan to neutralize the omega particles? 
plan is twofold. First, we must find and destroy any existing Omega particles. Secondly, we must discover whether it is producing them at such an alarming rate and stop it. The Federation and the Klingons have agreed to help with an join an alliance with the Roman Republic in order to see this done. These particles threaten us all. This would be simple, except for, well, perhaps it's best if you hear from Sub Commander Carl. He has asked to speak with you. Right, speak with the guy in charge. Sub Commander Cal. And find out what's got the scientists so itchy. So here is the Sub Commander. Welcome to the Solanay Dyson Sphere. My name is Sub Commander Cole. This is the main command center for Joint Alliance Command, a multi-species task force willing to work together toward a common goal, for now at least. The gateway you use to get here is in Republic space, so the Republic is taking the lead here as well. Our mission? To destroy the Omega particles this sphere creates, and neutralize its ability to generate more. The first scouts into the sphere confirmed that it was producing massive amounts of Omega particles for an unknown purpose. Given enough time, this sphere could produce enough Omega particles to completely annihilate warp travel in all known quadrants of the galaxy. We thought this would be a sweep and clear operation, but we were waylaid by a species known as the Voth. The Voth claim to be natives of the Delta Quadrant, are extremely technologically advanced and they want the sphere. Now we're in a fight for control. The Voth are determined to gather the Omega Particles. We're still determining why, but this is a threat to all warp-capable civilizations. I can't stress enough how important it is that we stop the Voth and neutralize the Omega Particles. There's a lot to do. Shall we get started? Just why I like a fight. Oh dear, I didn't actually didn't finish what he was going to say there. Um, hold, let me go to chat and NPC. Um, are you ready to begin, General? So no dice spheres are unlike anything we have ever seen before. Oh, God's sake. Keep not letting him talk. And wait for it to come back. My spy waves. We have a mine. Well, the minefield helps keep the Voth ships from entering Allied space on mass. Occasionally, the Voth will slip one or two small vessels through with their advanced cloaking devices. We have, a range, we have a range of tachyon pro frequencies that can sometimes detect both ships, but we need to get up and close to any, have any chance of success. We want the Mechvar to search the zone and find any Voth ships that might be hiding. Okay, so let's return to our ship. Now this is basically just a tutorial just to show you around the Dyson Sphere. It's not exactly the most riveting of, of things. The real meat and gravy of this is the two missions that are sandwiched between it, really. We run missions here from Joint Command, the center of all allied operations. This is the supply depot. We use it to ship supplies to our forces, and to store any unusual or dangerous technologies we find here. This region is the minefield. It is used as a barrier to keep Voth forces out, although some still slip by. And this is the Ion Stream. A series of structures moving a high volume of charged particles and exotic radiation through the area. Each of these areas could use your help. Good luck. Right, yeah. so as I, as I was saying before I was really interrupted by Sub Commander Cole, 
Um, we are in a what the game would call a action air, a, an adventure zone. It is facing an adventure zone. So it's an active adventure zone where other players are actually participating as well. So they will be other people here. Um, when we go to the next zone, there is another adventure zone. It's a contested zone where other players are also there. There's a ground version and, and there's two space versions here. So it's one with the Voth, one with the Undine, and one with. And the ground is the. Um, basically contains the Voth. Now, I generally use. these. This area is generally quiet nowadays. There's not that many people come here. Um, but it's good if you've got to do a mission where you've got to blow up or do some sh like a damage with your weaponry, with your different colour weaponry, um, your proton, uh, anti proton, etc., etc. You come here, go to the adventure zone to blow up some ships. Um, um, you, if you need to destroy Voth ships, you go to the Voth zone. You need to destroy Undine ships, you go to the Undine zone. I use the ground one to do the weapon challenges as well and kill Voth on the ground. Um, there's a, there are other zones, I'm probably going to cover them in a tutorial at some point because I go through all the zones, not that um, the zones are remotely interesting these days as I said, uh, people generally stay away from them unless they need to, to go near them um, so there's Cloak go and find us some Voth With the introduction of random, random, uh, random uh, cues, it kind of killed off the adventure zones. And they actually have said they have no intention of adding any more of, it, of these zones anymore. So these are the relic of the past, and I don't really want to get rid of them either. Um, like I said, uh, these two. This is a tutorial. And it's sandwiched between the mission, the uh, Spear of Influence, and Step Between the Stars. They're the two missions. Step Between Stars is the um, uh, is basically the bookend of the mission, and then we go straight into the Delta Quadrant arc. So let's see what it lets stay close. Enemy spot as a result of an area mission will appear specifically for you. That was totally unnecessary, but really, really worth it. Someone's setting off some fireworks. Okay, some missions have been completed for us. I'll be setting off fireworks in January. Maturity of people these days. Anyway, let's go and speak with the USS Harpathia. The Harpathia? Harpathia? Who cares? It's a Federation vessel. 
Good to see you, General. See the iron swing, the energy in, in them can be routed for into the energy cells of a starship and delivered to the another area of the sphere. This energy helps us better understand how the sphere activates. Can the mech farm make take some of the iron stream's energy to our tower in the minefield? We can do that. That's all right. We have got a choice. So we need to go to three of these. Um, Ion stream dischargers and collect us some ion energy, ionized particles. Uh, energy absorbed will be able to, and we will be begin analyzing it for our records. Can you trust our analysts? I guess he really doesn't trust them. Mind you, we have been at war with the Federation for a while. We have some stored energy, I've never seen it used this way. We've got stranded research channels over there. Yeah, we have lots of like submissions you can do within the Dyson, within the same Dyson sphere. You could, uh, they, it's just basically give you some additional Dyson art, um, stuff. I haven't really bothered with the reputations. <laughs> We've sorted everything we can from the stream, so let's head over to the mine to the minefield control center. Over here, oh, cool. Uh, we put the energy to good use, but we could need, we need more help here, General. The minefield is the last line of defense against the VOF moving into from the contested zone. Several of our mines have stopped working, but we don't know why. Can the Mechavar scan some of the deactivated mines and determine the problem? We can. Anything to help of help help the Gorn. Help well, always help the Gorn. Okay, yes, com huh? right. Disable mine. Let's find out what's going on here. Mine was definitely remotely disabled, but I'm having a hard time getting any further readings. Simple tutorial. Yeah. Uh, flying. Lots of flying around, speaking to people, and then just leaving. Uh, mine is missing some of the crucial parts. It simply be that the, some of the mines were not assembled, assembled properly. Probably Federation. They can divert, they can build mines of them. City humans. Right. And. Final mine. General, I was wrong. The Voffer transporting the parts out of the mines. I just contacted the Joint Command with this information. Thank you for your assistance, General. You said that the Boffer are remotely disarming mines by transporting parts out of them. Hmm. We'll see what we can we can do to get around that. For now, you and the Mechvar are needed elsewhere, specifically in the contested zone. Speak with me again when you are ready for the next assignment. Okay, so let's do the contested zone. Uh, we have an op more operations outside the Allied zone, General. The contested zone is right near our border our borders and this is where our forces are currently engaged with the VOF, both in the atmosphere and on the ground. It's a constant fight for control in the area. If we slip the VOF will overwhelm us. We could use your help out there, travel to the congested zone and see what you can do. So the congested zone I said is a more is a, is a PVE area, basically like this, but the VOF are a lot more powerful. And 
No, they basically fight at your level, whichever one you gauge them at. Um, there's five, I think there's five towers you got to take, and then off city ships, city dreadnoughts appear, four of them, and you got to destroy them. Before this they... is the contested zone. Our forces here are in a constant conflict with the Voth. There are five fronts in the zone, and each of them need your help. Here, we are fighting the Voth over towers that are critical to our control of the zone. I would advise you help only if you have other starships to provide support. In the center of the contested zone is the battle zone. <coughs> Commander Arnold is leading the ground fight there against the Voth. He needs anyone who's willing to assist. Make no mistake about this. The contested zone is an active conflict. Be careful out there. Okay, so it's Paul. Missing the Allied zone yet? I hope not, because we need every ship we can. We need every ship to push the off back. If you're ready, I have orders for you. The, the next comes straight from the commander Arnold, a liaison in the ground battle zone. There's a ground war waging as we speak in the battle zone. Commander Arnold is commanding Allied forces in an attempt to gain control of the Omega particle silos. Unfortunately, the Allied forces there are understaffed and under equipped. They're too far away from the supply depot for us to reliably send supplies. Supply, supply, shipments. Um, okay. Uh, and they can always use more combat-ready recruits. Commander Arnold and his forces could use your help. General, can you spare it? Yes. duty officer assignments here but uh, cool you learn something new every day anyway so let's head to the congested zone we need to get in there and then get out we need to take one of the towers just get a tutorial just get a mission then we'll get to our next mission and then we fly out and try and get one of these towers before they're captured as you can see I have been lied to <laughs> there are people here The zone's not as dead as I thought it was. This is the Voth Battle Zone. Our goal is to take control of at least one Omega Particle Silo. Here's how we do it. This is a map of the battle zone. There are three regions, each made up of multiple capture points. When the Voth hold a capture point, it is red. When we take control of a capture point, it will change to blue. Capturing points advances us towards our goal, represented by this meter. When it is full, we can make our final push to stop the Voth at the Omega Particle Silos. We must capture at least one of these silos to claim this battle zone for the Alliance. Good luck. Mm, that's it. Done. You are in a battle zone. The goal of a battle zone is to capture and hold the majority of I hope of things points. are going well in the battle zone. When you're ready, speak with me again. Requests for your aid are having in constant pace with your way of health with the IKS. Make a Congratulations, General. I have new directions for, directions for you. The overall status of the zone is we could use your... Oh, shut up, computer. Uh, we could use your help driving the Voth away from the control towers in the congested zone. So these towers are integral in our control of the area. If the Voth hold them, we'll be able to call in, re we'll be able to call in reinforcements and overwhelm us. If we can take the fight to the Voth and help us get control over the area. Okay, let's head and head back to our ship. Hopefully, one of, hopefully the zone hasn't they haven't kicked it off. Otherwise, we gonna have some trouble. And it's not. It's like which one is it? The front tower. The front 
Looks like it's going to kick off in this zone. Not that I wanted to show this off, but so it's going to. Dwarf at a tower and the Dwarf are all dead, so that's not good. So we have to So, so basically you've got the five, you have the five uh, areas, overall, once the overall control is switched back to us, then four dreadnoughts are going to, four dreadnoughts are going to appear, and we need to destroy the dreadnoughts before they leave the zone. That's essentially what happens here, you get, for every Voth ship you destroy, you, I think you get one core, one of the, the reputation stuff. Um, So the Voth are going to now bring their city ships in. I don't know if I'm going to have a pipe. My ship is going to be able to fight these off. Right, here they come. So here are the four dreadnoughts. This is nice that they're uh, that we're way above the level that we should be here. This is 
helpful, but this is basically basically the zone. There are a lot of more people here. And, uh, basically, you take down as many of these ships as possible. Let's go to these towers and defeat the Voth and then we move on to the, uh, the fluid dynamics. You don't get really many Dyson marks for your actions here, really. So. Let's uh, go and capture this. Or recapture this. The Allied Front Tower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's why you I need to test it ship for this. <laughs> Went horribly wrong. Um, mm. <sighs> My ship is so not prepared for this. Um,
Well, sure, reports of your efforts helped push the fourth back in the zone. Excellent work, General. We need you to keep supporting our efforts throughout this Dyson sphere, and we, we've seen all the areas and reports hold. Trusting that you've been there. Okay, you can make particles, blah, 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 blah. We'll capture this. Let's see if we can skip. I'm going to skip to fluid in this fraction. The Undine have started to invade the Dyson Sphere General. They have employed massive planet killers to destroy the destroy the Vof that we are see we are previously engaged in the Vof zone. Now the Undine have taken full control of a portion of the sphere we're seeking to destroy. The Alliance has sent Admiral Charax to lead the charge against the Undine. He could use your help if you can spare it. Basically, we just skip the step between stars. I will cover those because there's two missions. There's basically there's two missions we need to do there. Uh, well, three, two missions. Three, three, three actual missions got esca and escalation as well. So we need to. But I'm in the Dyson sphere. I'm doing the tutorials. I don't understand why they don't why they don't put the fluid that they put step between stars and then make you do fluid it don't fluid it things because it makes you have to come back into the Dyson sphere, I guess. But the uh, zone's about to flip again. There's me saying, oh, you know, this, this zone's dead, nobody's here. Apparently, there's loads of people who want to get some Dyson mocks. It's not exactly a difficult zone. You have a ship capable of doing it. Um, Head to do the and uh, get the fluid destruction done. Undine battle zone. Our goal is to close fluidic rifts to destroy Undine planet killers. Here is our plan. This is a map of the battle zone. We have three different methods of closing the rifts. When a rift is open, the area is red. When we close a rift, it will change to blue. Closing rifts advances our progress, shown by this meter. When it is full, we can launch our attack on our planet killers. We must defeat at least one planet killer for the operation to be considered a success. Good luck. Hmm. So this is the Undine. You are in a battle zone. The goal of a battle zone is to capture and hold the majority of points. The fight in the Undine battle zone is going to last for a long time, General. Admiral Shower X is going to need all the help you can get enemies. to push the Undine back. Okay, so this is the Undine zone. The overall status of the zone is displayed here. I'll cover this in the tutorial, but this is the Undine zone, same as the Roth zone, except this one is the more updated version of the previous zone we just left. We have, um, this was basically what the rest of the zones would follow. Um, you take a zone. Uh, up mark means that the buffer buffer is the uh, Adina retaking it. Up mark means we're taking it. You 
capture the you capture the zone. All four, all of these things tick over. You get yeah, the control ally control, and then the panic killers turn up. The rewards here are a lot more better than the and then the previous one we just left. So it's the part system, which will depart us out of the <coughs> out of the so the Dyson sphere. And that is the tutorials all done. So what we should have left is a step between the stars and surface tension. So next part, uh, part 34, we'll be doing the mission a step, a step between stars. And that will be in part 34 on Big B82. Please subscribe, comment and welcome and I appreciate any thumbs up as well. And I will see you in part 34. Until then, ciao for now.